Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the Grid Watchers podcast. This is episode number... I forgot. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm like 15 or 16. Right, start. 15 right. or 16, I think. Um, but to review the Belgium Grand Prix, um, but it's been a whole month since we've done a podcast, so I've got to hear these guys in my ear again, unfortunately. Oh, piss off. <laughs> to be fair, I'd prefer to hear but... Chuk than you, Rickson, with your big brummy accent. Ooh. <sighs> Ooh. You're a fucking bend, am I? Shut up. <laughs> As you can uh, hear, I'm joined by Rickson and Causa. Uh, Ken is um, where is Ken? He's seen his family, so um, he won't be looking after his uh, kids. <laughs> oh, yeah. you know. He's on a he's on a, a weekend trip. He's spending some time with his girlfriend again, so you know what that means. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> his girlfriend and his kids. Don't forget his children. <laughs> I don't even know who his kids are um, anyway. <laughs> At one point, I'm pretty sure it was me and you, Jack. But anyway. He is a shit dad. A shit dad. <laughs> yeah, I'll just show the, show the photo. He's not a very good dad. He's uh, smoking yeah, cigarettes. Not good enough. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, so what, what would you... Well, I know what Rex is going to rate this race, but I'll start with you, Alex. What are you going to rate this uh, this rate, race as? Out of 10. A solid six, I would say. I would say that, yeah. Six? Okay. All right. So it's a low number. Go on, Enrixson. I mean... Usually I'd say 10 because Lewis won, but actually <laughs> I'm going to say 8 for that. Okay. All right. Yeah. Mainly, mainly because obviously Lewis won that bumps it past a 6. <laughs> but I mean, it's another one of those races where it's a high speed track. There was a lot of like overtakes, but they were just slipstream overtakes. They were all in, in the same spot. Mm. You know, there was almost like there was no skill in quite, quite a few of them. It's just slipstream, slipstream, and up the, you know, up, you know, it was just to be fair, there was easy, a nearly a non switch overtake, which then just ended in a crash. But yeah, I'm sure we'll get to that later on. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, it wasn't the the best race. It's better than no, no. What's your rate in the year? But um, yeah, yeah. I'm, oh, I'll give it. Well, I fell asleep, so I'm gonna give it. Yeah, a four. I was gonna say if you <laughs> you, you said six <laughs> in November, and then I was like, cheeky, fell asleep. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, so I missed them. I missed sort of middle segment of the race, but I read up, so I know what happened now. Um, but yeah, I'd give it a four. It wasn't great. Um, it doesn't help that I'm quite hungover at the moment, so I'm really not really enjoying um, life at the moment. But listen, um, listen to all the sympathy yeah, it, for it, that. It's yeah. unbelievable, isn't it? Oh, oh. <laughs> and the silence. Oh. Um, <laughs> but I guess it, it, w- it was quite a, an exciting start. Alonso, uh, Alex was was mad at the start, gaining so many well, places. Well, obviously his engine can't have helped with that, but I, yeah, I, I don't know how he does it. Like. <laughs> Every time you go best starts, there's the first one's always Alonso, and yet he's come from what is it P fourteen or something on the grid, and then mm, by the time yeah. we get to a rouge, he's like inside Daniel Ricciardo's gearbox, and I'm like, what is this? It just comes out of nowhere. It takes three cars round the outside of the first corner. It was mm. ridiculous. So I, I enjoyed seeing that. I will say I was I was having a mad one then, and then it sort of went all down here when he got overtaken by everyone that he'd overtaken. Yeah, once a DRS kicked in, he got um, yeah, destroyed. Yeah, really. stupid, ridiculous. So, he um, did make yeah. a straight line overtake on Jolie and Palmer. So take that one nip in the bud. Yeah, but yeah, but I I could do that. Be great. It's Jolie. It's Jolie and Palmer. <laughs> <laughs> it's not very good. <laughs> <laughs> um. But yeah, it was. I'm trying to think. I'm honestly trying to think of highlights of this race. Now it was. It was a lot of overtaking at the start, and then had a lot of overtaking at the safety car. No, Max Verstappen um, retired. No. Oh yeah, and well, luck, luckily Ken's not here because otherwise he'd moan about Max Verstappen for the whole podcast. Um, <laughs> but yeah, in front of eighty thousand Dutch fans, and he retired on. on yeah, that retired moment, right in front of fifty fans as well. I saw. Yeah, he did. Yeah, yeah, I saw shot. that. Um, yeah, um, but that was it. Fourth retirement of the year for Max Verstappen. No, which sixth. Is, Six in, yeah, it's fifty percent retirement rate thus far this season. Wow, it's unbelievable, That's awful, it? awful. It, it's it's mad that it's oh, it seems to be only his car. Ricardo, uh, Ricardo had issues at, in um, Australia, didn't he? And in was it Baku as well? Maybe no, that's, no, that's too Baku. long ago. I was no, going to say Ricardo won the race in um, Baku. <laughs> yeah, it was, yeah, it was, no, yeah, wasn't it? It was somewhere else. We had issues um, in Hungary when Max Verstappen drove into him, but you know, uh, <laughs> quite enjoyed watching yeah. that. But yeah, unfortunately, Max went out, and that this is a Renault Power unit, isn't it? And but it, it's just his car, and it's not. I, I don't. Been know quite unlucky really with that. Car. Fair, to be fair. Yeah, 
Um, but I guess the, the main battle was between Hamilton and, and Vettel, um, and Vettel was always sort of two seconds behind Hamilton, but never there close enough. I guess it's a, it was a, a just a brilliant drive from Hamilton, Rickson. Yeah, I mean, it, it, yes, it was, but at the same time, kind of, he was. Ju- it's just faster. The Mercedes is just faster, and round a track like Spa, mm. whoever's got the more powerful engine is going to win. Yeah, like there's. It's not like all of the time that you could lose in the corners if you've got the more powerful engine because it is such a quick circuit down the stretch, you'll just make that. And that's Force mm. India's strategy, um, isn't it, with their cars, is that they're really high because their straight line speed is unbelievable. It doesn't matter about the corners, does it? Yeah, I mean, talking about Force India, actually, I mean, I know we could sit here and talk about how good Lewis is all day. But not, <laughs> yeah, I could. Um, <laughs> but I mean, I. I personally would like to know from you boys what you think Force India should should do now because it's becoming a trend mm. that those two teammates are just battling too hard and ruining their chances of earning more money and you know being one, one of the top runners in the next few seasons. It's, it is an interesting one because you could go, all right, today was Perez's fault, but then you look at Baku and that was Ocon's fault. Almost basically a similar crash. It was literally the, the yeah. same thing. It was squeezed much, into the wall, you know, before a corner. But mm. I don't know, because surely they would have sat down after Baku and gone, "Don't do this again," and then have looked at each other and just gone, "No," because we could have got some serious points, podiums, etc. Yeah, I mean, they, Force India did come out af- after the race and said that there, there's no more battling mm. between them. Yeah, mm. they said that during the race, but, actually. That, yeah, but the thing is, with you tell them to do that, and you could even give up points doing that. I think they're in a bit of a. It's what they did in Canada, wasn't it? In terms of they are, yeah, they, you either let them don't battle and you lose points because they'll drop off. One mm. of them will have to drop off and they'll fall into like one of the Renaults or one of the Haas cars, mm. um, and then that you know that could ruin chances of points. So it, they're in a difficult place. I do like mm. seeing them battle. Because it is like they literally do not give a shit. They will just battle, battle until one of them gets taken out, as we saw earlier. But yeah, I don't. I I I I'm a bit lost really on where on what they should do as a, as a team. Maybe fire one of them, bring someone new in. You know, mm. that's like the the final thing. But then really. it's six of one and a half yeah, a dozen the other, isn't it? One. Is you fire one, or you know, go you're not racing this weekend. But then they they're both sort of even in a sense. So yeah. it then makes it very difficult to to do, but it is an interesting one. They they literally need they need to sit down and talk to each other. I think it's what because yeah. it's what Red Bull did, is, isn't it? Between Verstappen and Ricardo, and both of them came back after winter after the summer break and just went, yeah, we're fine. So they yeah. they need to do that, but for Force India right now points isn't a huge thing because I'm just looking at the constructors table here after so we're halfway through the no over halfway through the season now aren't we Four has got 103 points Williams the next team has 45 so so they Red Force could score no more points and bad. still be in the same position they are but if you want to push on and get what well, who's who's next Red Bull Before with 199 ah, okay. they are in yeah, no so they're, they're in no man's land aren't they yeah, I think yeah. So if we look at it that way, then surely, if they want to bridge the gap and go from where mm. they are to the top, battling with the top four teams, surely making sure both cars finish every race should be key. Yeah, because to be fair, actually, yeah. if they hadn't crashed in Baku, hadn't crashed today, and maybe in Canada sorted themselves out, they could easily be a hell of a lot closer to Red Bull. And I mean, and with with all the issues Max has yeah. been having, there's perfect chances there for, yeah. them, for them to do it. They've just got to sort sort their shit out. Uh, yeah, they, they yeah. do. It's, it's, yeah, an, it's, it's an, just, an interesting one, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, I think it the is. best way to do it, they, what they could do it, is put both drivers on alternate tra- strategies. One go for a longer stint, and then but, one on softer tyres. I guess it wouldn't be fair on the guy who's doing the longer stint because most likely he won't get the most points but to try and separate both the drivers I think that's the one of the better ways of doing it without trying to cause too much controversy 
Yeah, but I mean, even then, you know, that does mean that whoever gets the better, like pit stops, mm. it's gonna that it's gonna make the other guy pissed. It was like was it Ocon when he was asking why Perez got the better strategy and then came back and said he's got because of the mm, five yeah. seconds or whatever, Some, something like that. Like if if I was Ocon, I'd be like, well, it's it's his own fault for getting the fucking penalty. Mm. You know, I just it, it's. Like we've been saying, it's too hard to call, but I reckon if they sort it out, they'll they'll be both of the drivers will be, you know, up there. To even podiums, like they're, oh, they're good yeah. enough for podiums, but they're just fucking stupid. Yeah, they are. Yeah, and looking at the rest of the grid um, today, Hulkenberg in the runner got sixth place, which Decent is result. Uh, impressive. He's runner. making Palmer look worse and worse yeah, every he week. He man. really, really is. Like I do. To be fair, I do feel for Palmer because he had a good quality, but and then he got the the grid, the grid penalty. But if you're you you can't come out and say you're feeling good, the car's feeling good, and see your teammate finish. Well, he finished seventh. Sixth. 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 Your teammate finished sixth, and you not even get any points. Like mm. no, Palmer is just, awful. Just, how did how did Robert Kubica do in the test? That Renault car. Um, he was he, I, he was a um, a tenth behind Palmer. His time in Palmer's qualifying time. Were, and uh, he's he got was, a fucked up arm, mate. Yeah, he's, like, he's, he's Terminator, what, so you know he's <laughs> the Terminator. Just, no, but uh, I I think with with Renault, sat Palmer, bring someone else in. I would say Kubica is better in all honesty. Uh, because if, if you're a tenth of a qualifying um, yeah, time and a long run time, which I think is what he was doing, possibly. I mean, I think that's what every, everybody wants. But I mean, looking at it from a kind of from Palmer's point, he's got to do something in this back end of of, mm. of the season. Now he's got to he's got to do something, give something more to Renault so they can they can keep him because he is he is a he is a Brit, and I don't don't want to see a Brit be be kicked out. But if he's shite, he's shite, you know. Yeah, well, we've had a couple mm. recently in Max Chilton and Will Stevens, didn't we? That raced for Manor for like one season and then just went no, go away. And they both could look quite hopeful, yeah. and then we just kicked out. But yeah, but I mean, Manor's different. Manor's different because literally Manor the whole time they were in the sport, they were trying to stay alive, you know, afloat, stable. A stable, so they they would just get cheap drivers like Chilton, like Stevens. I I, I even forgot Stevens. Yeah, so the there's, there's, there's been a couple. You're like, that what? Bad? Like Rio Harianto, mm. what a driver he was. I mean, come on. Didn't even Ross, last there the was season, Rossi as well that lasted like four races, and then that was it. Rossi, yeah. But the thing with Rossi, he he's actually good. But I mean, we're talking about Spa here, so uh, <laughs> fuck Manor. <laughs> wow, fuck a Manor. Yeah. Who the fuck are Manor? Who are Manor? Google um, yeah. So I've just I've just been scrolling through Twitter as I've been talking, and uh, Nando after the uh, after the race, obviously they 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 go to like that that mm-hmm. little pen and have like like zoo fucking yeah, it uh, is creatures amazing creatures or whatever. Um, <laughs> it is there, isn't it? It's not wrong. <laughs> so it is. Mm. It is. And so he he was he had pens. Uh, just stroking his, stroking his head. As, as, as the driver's gathered along to be fed and interviewed. Feeding him food. For... <laughs> yeah, Here so we he, have he the was... drivers in the pen. Yes. <laughs> All right, David. <laughs> Calm down. Um, he, was, he was saying, they asked him about um, what he thinks of Honda and if he's going to switch team. I've never seen a guy dodge a question yes. so well. I saw it. As so well. well. He dodged it. God. I didn't see this. Cause Cause went, so, 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 so do, he, yeah, because it was like, did McLaren have to change their engines for you to stay? And then he just goes, "No, I'm quite happy here. It just depends on the power output." And I was like, <laughs> "Mate, have you literally listened to yourself <laughs> in that race?" <laughs> exactly. Yeah. About about twenty minutes earlier, he was yeah. he was saying how she no is no radio bad, no power. Bad, this is all just driving was... past him. <laughs> oh, Absolutely amazing. Good. Just like going, oh, if you want to save the rear tires, just goes, "No, shut up, mate." Let me drive. <laughs> like, can you, I, I would just like. I mean, Stoffel is still still a rookie, mm. so it's fine. But they were saying after when he uh, when he stepped out of of the car, um, it was I think it was Damien was Damien Hill or someone like that or I oh, thought those it was probably Crafty. They were saying <laughs> that um, it was, it was saying something like 
he's he's still a top three driver. He should be in a good team. There just isn't seats available for him. Mm, yeah, um, it's Damon Hill. I think Kimmy Kimmy's passed it. Why have they Kimmy's signed him on for it. another season? So I th- yeah, I think I Lando should have taken. Well, I would. I think actually Vettel, when he signed his contract, yeah, was something like in that. it that said Nando couldn't go back to Ferrari. So that's probably why they got Kimmy because it's the only other option. Well, no, you could argue well, they there are quite a young few driver. I think be, being a top team is you could sign anyone. Yeah, but a lot of the drivers that are in, on the grid now are tied down to quite. Well, there was talk contracts. of Charles Leclerc. As one, oh, but I, no. I, Everyone, I think Ferrari. Oh, yeah. I think Ferrari are way too big of a team for like. Yeah, but then you remember straight. Lewis Hamilton. Oh. He went straight into a McLaren Mercedes. Yeah, but that was that was years. That, and ago. that is a one-off. That was... that, that, yeah, and back then, Lewis Hamilton tested that car so much. Yeah, because they could do testing, couldn't they? Raced. And he just did that. Yeah. So he, he yeah he was he, he wasn't a rookie by the time he actually started racing because he'd done so many mm. laps in that car already. So it's totally different. Like the sports changed yeah, completely now. Do like I don't I, I don't think we'll ever see a rookie driver go in go into just a straight team up again. no. For, up until they they change the rules. I mean they probably won't. But if they do, that's the only time we'll ever see. Like a rookie go into like a Merc or a yeah, because they they got to go into like almost um, like sister teams. Like obviously Red Bull has Toro Rosso. Then you've got Mercedes with their like Force India Williams that they use, and then you've got Ferrari with um, Haas and Sauber. Sort of the only way that rookies can get mm. in, isn't it, is by starting off on a really crap team. Yeah, yeah unfortunately, just the way it is at the mm. moment. So yeah. Um, one thing I did want to talk about is uh, qualifying yesterday with Hamilton matching Michael Schumacher. I yeah. I don't think they should celebrate now... it until he beats it personally, because because ne- next week he'll probably go and mean... beat it, and then there'll be another thing about it, and it's like all right, okay. Yeah. No, but I mean that that record has been standing it was for so long, over four thousand think... days, and the fact that. It, it's a Brit that's done it as well. I think, especially, I think watching the coverage in a in a different country, it yeah. wouldn't be as yes big. But because it's we're all British and we're watching no, it. No, Chooks Welsh. In oh, I was <laughs> waiting for that. I wasn't going to say. You know, I wasn't going to say it. <laughs> because we're all we're yeah, all watching British it, TV, you know, and yeah, basically, they are going to talk a lot. Like, they talk about Lewis too much anyway. Yeah, you know yeah I mean. Yeah, yeah. It would it would have been like in other countries like I'm saying it, yeah. you wouldn't but have it, heard yeah that. but too fair I, I yeah, do see the point is a Brit it's like when we, it's like when we have the Olympics like we we mm. only talk about England this, this, we only talk about Team GB we don't talk about like anyone else apart from like Bolt so it's sort of a similar thing um I, I wouldn't say it's necessarily true it depends on what sport you like and I guess there are other Ch- moments shoot ball it isn't yeah. shoot ball <laughs> isn't isn't isn't, isn't <laughs> I never yeah. even oh. I'm even sick anything about it. I, I openly admit it's a shit. <laughs> the way it lets there. Just going on, but it, it, it depends um, what sport you like, and it's like cheek ball is not. I've never seen it. Cheek <laughs> ball is not on Sky Extra. It's not. <laughs> it, it, it wouldn't even make it on onto Sky Extra. No, I wouldn't want it. It's, it's boring. I don't even know why. It's like a... to move to a different sport. I openly admit it's a crap sport. I'm just good at it, so I just keep on playing it. So. <laughs> Um, <laughs> well, my point was about Lewis Hamilton as he's matched Schumacher now is would, would is Lewis Hamilton the best ever no nope no okay. I still think Percy uh, is behind Senna because <laughs> if you look at the amount yes. of time yes. if, if you look at the amount of time it took Hamilton to beat Senna's pole record that like Senna did it in much shorter time but you could say Senna was in a better car you could say Monaco and the way in a crap car nearly won. I think <laughs> the way we should look at it is I think Lewis is the best driver of the modern era. I've, hmm. But I think of past eras, Prost, Senna, so on, so on. So you're not counting Schumacher um, in the modern era then? I, I would say Schumacher I is between say, the I, Hamilton I think, Vettel and Prost Senna era. He's in his own yeah, sort so of I era, to be honest. If we were. If we were to split it up into three, I think we would have like the Senna Prost mm. era, and then obviously the Michael era, and then obviously the Lewis era after it. But all those, all, all those saying that, Vettel's been just as fucking well, yeah, dominant. V- Vettel got four world championships on the trot. Hamilton's only had two. 
like on the trot. Mm. I don't. It's 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 it's. De- I don't think we can say he's he's the best, but I th- I think he's he's definitely in my top three. I think everybody has their own top top five, top mm. three, whatever, top two. Mm. And he's definitely in my top top three for sure. So. I think arguably Howard's is the best person on that grid. And that grid is full of enough world champions and future world champions. So that is enough mm. in itself to go that Hamilton is like unbelievably good. Yeah. 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 Um yeah, and I just wanted to hear your opinions on that. Well I think you knew Jackson really to be honest. Weakening the record. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, well, no, no, but, no I, I didn't. I thought it was going to be yes, Lewis Hamilton. So I'm, yeah, I'm glad no, he said it was something different, which was good. See, he I'm taking, taking this seriously now. He is, no, is, you no, can tell he is as well. Me. <laughs> 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 oh, dear me. Um, I did. I did think the uh, the Vettel Launa ball sack wrinkle joke was a bit. <laughs> hard, so. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, that was the last time you were on the podcast, wasn't it? God, that was ages ago. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> ages ago. Oh, dear me. Um, one thing I did want to talk about, um, the F1 2017 game. It's just here released. Go. Oh, here we go. Here Thought, we go. Everybody's thoughts on the game. It's it's uh, The career mode's brilliant. The multi- multiplayer is... To be fair, yeah, I was Absolutely. I was on. I've been playing some career mode and some single player, and I've been doing a few of the like championship things. I've been doing quite a few of them, and I was like, mm. "All right, Chiefs and Man of Out Line, what's it like?" So just to give you a list of my issues, in I've I've literally done half a race. I've done oh, half a race. Okay, Lee, Lee, Lee and Jenny, fucking no. No, Lee. all right. So let's go. <laughs> so firstly, I had a delayed start. Blackhead. And because I had a delayed start, I got right. absolutely destroyed by the car behind, which for no reason turned me upside down. I'd love to know in what country that happened. Oh. Secondly, I use automatic gears, okay? Simple as that. Oh, boo. But boo. for some yeah. unknown reason, it seemed to keep upshifting really early. My top speed was 185. For no reason. Okay. Which is odd. Okay. Um, right. Realistic damage is on again for no reason on a sprint lobby no, that's which is stupid. interesting really and then into me. turn one I got absolutely destroyed by someone else who wasn't even near me because they lag spiked all of those issues just sound like you're shit at the game mate to be honest it doesn't sound like their game no issues. my internet is perfectly fine <laughs> it's been, it was fine on F1 2016 so, yeah it's definitely because course, you're shite that's all it is well, I'm other, I'm experiencing exactly the same issues as Alex's, yeah. so and my internet's well, my internet is, is bad, but I, I, if someone else with good internet's having yeah. the same issues, and I wasn't in the same lobby. I mean, so. I've I've done maybe two races on uh, multiplayer, and both times I had that uh, DSQ yeah. glitch. Mm. Um, both times, so I'm I basically I don't want to. I've been bitching on Twitter a fair bit about the game. But that's just because it gets it gets some some nice heat on it. <laughs> but I mean, um, no, no the the game types that I've been playing the off offline have been class. Like the game feels amazing. Yeah. The setups are really nice. Um, the graphics are sick. Um, mm. I like the new the new pit stop. Yeah, stuff. that just adds just a little um, bit extra to it, doesn't it? Yeah, and also it 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 can make or break races. You know, what I mean? like if you nail it, you can gain time. If you're shit at it, you mm. you lose time, and it's another thing to practice to improve the overall. Yeah, yeah, because it adds some realism, doesn't it? In real life, the car doesn't automatically set away. You have to go as soon as that light turns green, and it's it's just another yeah. bit, isn't I'm it? Just, yeah, I'm just thinking the only peeve I have about the offline is that in quality. The cars are a lot quicker. The AI are a lot quicker than they are when you actually race. When you go to the race, um, so I've done about five races, and each time I've qualified about between thirteenth uh, and seventeenth, mm. and then I'd go into the race and I'm driving in about P seven, P eight every time, and it just it's weird like I don't get is it like it might be that my one lap pace is shit and it's just me but I've seen a few other people saying on Twitter as well that they're experiencing that as well so I'm 
could be something that they should I vaguely into, did. Maybe, or... Only a little bit in mind, but I think it's the in in real life you when you qualify you obviously go flat out but then in the race you're doing a lot of conserving of different things so the drivers drive a lot more conservatively and you know for their race pace whereas when you're you know when you're racing on a game like us lot we will literally do exactly the same as we would in qualifying we just drive 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 the hell out of it so there's then that sort of bit but you know then again i'm sure they were doing that in testing there's a few bugs but i think they'll be ironed out pretty quickly to be honest yeah i mean they are quite vocal on on twitter and social media about fixing everything um so yeah but trick mate how are, how are you finding the wheel mate um on, it's uh, hard it's really hard <laughs> 80, 80, 85 different all oh, right <laughs> give me a break i've only 85. just got the wheel and i haven't used it much I mean, to be, to be honest, I remember when I first got my wheel and it was and difficult. Anyway, so. it doesn't matter because I'll still beat Corza in any No, you won't. Using the no, you so. won't. Oh, there it so, is. So there I guess is. the gauntlet you know has now been laid. Corza, you're still in the noob gym. Yeah, I know. Well, yeah, well we aren't doing True. no assist, are we? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> End of conversation. End of conversation. I don't... No, I'm, a, I'm in the noob journey because I enjoy it, but also when I race normally, I don't do no assist, else I wouldn't be in the noob journey. So it's, you know. You're just rubbish. Yeah, right. Come down, eighty-five difficulty, mate. Oh! <laughs> I will up it for the next. Oh episode. wow! It might, it might go to a whole eighty-six. Mine's on. <laughs> mine's on. Uh, what one hundred two? No, it's not. Now, so yeah. How do you? Like it's not on one hundred two. I do not believe. How it. do you? How do it's you like on one hundred two? Huh? <laughs> it's, huh? it's not even. Huh? <laughs> eighty-five, Alex. Come on. It's unbelievable. I'm on, I'm on, 90, I'm on my 94, I think, now. Yeah, well, what Ooh. assist are you running? Well, that doesn't matter. All of them. <laughs> I've got... Alex, I, I got yeah, all Alex <laughs> I could, if I was running assist, I'd put it on 110. I could keep up with them. Really? Wow. <laughs> yeah. Sure, okay, mate. Okay. 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 okay, if you... No, if you had all the assists on, it's easy. Well, not if I break an assist on. You, it's like you're on rails. It's what? like you're on rails. Yeah. So, exactly. It's... Take this off and you'd be down on 50. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> I think the car isn't even that hard, that hard to drive with the system. Yeah, off, no, I, I haven't tried it yet, to be fair. True. It is very, very easy. Yeah, I'm yeah, actually worried that, that mm. fucking our oh, main series chick is about to get absolutely shafted. <laughs> Unbelievable. Yeah. But we'll see. Be... That's going to be interesting. But the game, we'll yeah, see. offline, the game is amazing. I think it's the best. The best Amazing. Codemasters game yeah. offline, and then you get online and it nah, becomes one yeah. of the worst. Nah, but that's nah, nah, the point. Be, it's got to be F1 2009. Brilliant. That's Brilliant. that's not even a joke. Fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> that's like, Fuck it was an awful. That game. actually hurt me. You just said that, and I actually like fell for it, and that really hurt. <laughs> yeah, no, it's damn. It is a good game. What F1 2009? Never stop. Don't... <laughs> no, it, well, it was. You had, it had a, um, the when you when I bought it, you came with a, a an uh, an F one plastic wheel rather than like yes. a Mario Kart one. So yes, cool. I still got nice. that as well. I'm not that sad. I mine's in the bin. Um, <laughs> no, but they, they get like, like you both said. The game is good, but they need to sort those online issues out because otherwise, there's no longevity to the game. Because I play it for a couple of months and I get bored of it because there's no online element to it. And if they don't sort it out. That's league racing down the pan. Yeah, that's so, only league racing on F1 2016. It reminds me of F1... Is... What I don't get with the online is how it's gone from six, F1 2016, which was okay online, to this. How is it? How can they go back? Didn't Rickson, though, didn't on the beta they well, had online? Yeah, it was sick. On the beta, it was perfect. Well, why, so how, how has it gone bad? There must be amount of usage. But I think... I... Yeah, it's it's because there's a lot more people using it now, and obviously on the on the beta, most of the time, most of the time, it was a league racer with good uh, Wi-Fi who was hosting the lobbies most of the time. Because like when I was playing it, the only people that really played it were like league racers, and then like the odd few lucky people like like me. Oh, okay, yeah. Um. So, yeah, I mean, the beta was good. I did a couple of races on the beta. Um. And then jumped on jumped on the proper game on Thursday. Thursday, and it was yeah. just amazing. So I'm actually I'm I'm, I'm really happy with it. Um, I'm happy they brought back. Remember, it was like F1. Is it like 
2012 where they had those like live races where it would be like do it, like the challenges or those. yeah, I'm glad yeah, they brought those back. So like the one recently is Max at is it Max at Spa? I don't know. Yeah, Max at Spa. Yeah, and you got to track down and win the race. Cool. I did that as well. That was quite fun yeah, actually. Yeah, mm. So yeah, it's, it's good, man. It's good. Oh, okay. Well, we have different opinions, but you know, it's um. Fuck your opinion. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. That's what I said to that. Um. <laughs> Fuck your opinion. Yeah. Well, I think that uh, that runs it off for today's uh, podcast. Um, unless I've missed anything, we covered a lot of things. You it? sound so. You sound uh, awful, really, mate. Really go in, finish this, and go to sleep. I know, mate. Uh, I'm finished with this. I, I've, I've, I've had, I had five minutes where I missed the Perez Ocon crash, and that's it. <laughs> so I missed the best bit of the Grand Prix you are as I was sleeping. Um, yeah. Wow, that's a bit far. Jeez. But you told me to go burn in the fire, <laughs> so you can't, you can't say anything. <laughs> I'm not that was amazing. That was a big reaction to you to talk about Hamilton as well. So, guys, if you enjoyed the podcast today, don't forget to uh, smash that like button and subscribe to us all. It will be in the description below. And go check out all our new F1 2017 content. We have a new series starting next week, so uh, keep an eye out for that. I can't remember what we've called it again. Was it Intercontinental Championship? <laughs> Some shit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a it's a good idea. So uh, yeah, watch the watch the sub boxes, and um, we'll see you next weekend. Actually, for the uh, you went from me. I'll be here. relaxing on a beach in Spain. Fuck you. Right, that wasn't very nice. <laughs> there was no need to swear. Then you just ruined my outro again. Yeah, of course I did. <laughs> uh, thanks for watching, guys. Good night.